Hey guys, and welcome to another braces video. I want to sit down and talk to you guys about things they don't tell you about getting braces and things that you don't expect with getting braces. I wrote down a list of things and before we get into this video why don't you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel i have a whole playlist of my braces journey and way more to come and i'll leave the link down below as yeah follow my journey together and let's just get right into the video all right so number one is when you first get braces you will be in an initial shock like the thought like if you haven't got braces and you're watching this you're probably thinking oh yeah like i'm gonna get braces i'm gonna feel 100 percent normal and everything's gonna be a-okay but that is not how it was for me at least i literally thought that i would feel the same and i just like okay i got braces no big deal but when i first got them and i left the orthodontist i was in tears and i was crying and i hated the way they looked like it is so crazy that when you first get braces how weird it is how different you think you look and all of this stuff but i promise you that that initial shock will go away and your tears and everything and you think that you look, you look ugly that will all go away as well just trust me like right now i am proud of my braces and i couldn't care less that is number one. Number two is I love wine. I love coffee. I love Coca-Cola. I love all of the dark, you know, yummy drinks and stuff like that. But what they don't tell you is that it will stain your braces. So I have like the traditional braces, but they have a new champagne gold braces. So I have those. And I also have white braces. Uh, elastics you can get any other color but for me like I am an adult I have you know three kids I'm not gonna get bright pink elastics so I get the white elastics and I drink wine and I drink coffee and if I don't drink with a straw or brush my teeth right after um, the bands get super super yellow and it is not pretty so just be prepared with that and if you are gonna go get ceramic braces and you like red wine and you like coffee you might have to give that up in order to, you know, avoid that. Number three is when you first get braces um, within the first month or so, you will notice that your teeth will get way worse. Like here, I have a tooth that was already kind of sideways and crooked, but now they're making more space to bring it in and kind of bring all of the teeth straight. So here, I had a huge gap and it is getting like so weird even like my husband noticed it he's like whoa like that is crazy it'll just get worse before then they will get better so just be prepared for that that you're not gonna get braces and then automatically it's gonna be like oh it's pretty no there's some awkward stages for me I need to get surgery in my mouth and they're actually taking one of my teeth out and I am gonna have to have a gap in my mouth for a really long time until my adult tooth grows down so yeah so the next thing is the cuts that you will be getting in your mouth when you first get braces won't last forever and wax will be your absolute best friend like i remember when i got my braces i got so many canker sores and so many cuts i couldn't talk um i had a lisp that will go away too for the most part <laughs> Um, but all of the cuts, I literally felt like it was going to be forever, but now I never get cut. So just use wax. It'll be fine. They won't last forever and the pain will go away. The next thing is say goodbye to eating pizza and, you know, anything like that normally. Um, I can't eat pizza like this. I use a fork and a knife with pizza. I usually use a fork and a knife with a burger and stuff like that. All handheld foods are impossible to eat and like, you know, bread and rice, that is like a no-go for me. So just be prepared that you're probably going to eat your food with a knife and fork and people are going to be like, 
okay. <laughs> Next thing is you might have to visit the orthodontist more than you think. Usually people think that, oh, I'm just gonna go into the orthodontist for my tightening every you know, couple weeks. But I have been to the orthodontist like probably five times already because there has been complications. I have been, you know, I've broken a bracket and that place will become your second home most likely. So the next one you probably have heard from people before who have had braces, but they might take longer than they initially tell you. Like they told me I would have mine for two years, but I probably would have them for longer than that. And a lot of people, you know, go at the two year mark or go at their one year mark and or the doctors usually tells them that they need to have them on for longer. So don't get your hopes up and be prepared for that because I know I am. The next thing is if you are an adult or you know older, um, you will probably get a lot of people asking you, why did you get braces at this age? And I have gotten that every time I see another adult or anybody for that matter, they always ask me, oh, why'd you get braces? And I'm like, you know, I tell them why. I have a baby tooth and an adult tooth. I tell them the whole spiel on why I'm getting, I needed to get braces at an adult, you know, older age. And it gets super, super annoying, but just be prepared for that. The next thing is brushing your teeth. Takes, brushing your teeth. Takes like about a good half an hour if you do it properly. And I'm gonna be doing a video coming up soon about um, how I keep my teeth white and my cleaning routine with braces. So make sure you guys subscribe so you guys can watch that. Brushing your teeth takes a really, really long time and a lot of effort. So the next thing is for girls or boys, um, your lipstick will get stuck in your teeth and your braces. So say goodbye to red lipstick and stuff like that. I love red lipstick, especially in like December, but I have already attempted and I talk like this still because I'm still, you know, Braces are just weird to have. So if you do that, you will get red lipstick all up in your teeth and it is not pretty. So be prepared to say goodbye to some of your pretty lipsticks. The next thing is don't be surprised if you get weird things put onto your braces from the orthodontist. Usually people think that they're just gonna get the brackets and you know, like the uh, wire and call it a day. But for me, in my case, I have a spring here I have springs down here, down there, and I also have like a weird kind of hoop, metal hoop around one of my teeth and no brackets on there. And that one hurt so badly because my bracket kept falling off of my filling. So they had to put something weird in there. So I mean, along your braces journey, don't expect to just have, you know, regular braces. You might have some chunky stuff in your mouth and weird stuff in your mouth but uh the end result will be worth it so just be prepared if you go to the orthodontist and you leave with a bunch of this kind of stuff in your mouth because i remember when i left when i got this i was like oh my god these are so horrible <laughs> and last thing is you always have to be prepared with what i call your braces kit <laughs> um, full of stuff when you go out so i have a little braces kit that i keep in my bag and it has um, a bunch of stuff in it that I use on a daily basis, you know, when I go out and eat and stuff like that. And I will link up the video up top of where I kind of show you guys what is in my kit. They will also give you a kit at the orthodontist usually with wax, um, little cleaning things, floss, you know, picks and stuff like that. But I will show you guys that video so you guys can check that out. So that is everything I need to spiel out for you guys. And again, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. There's going to be so many more braces videos. Um, I have like a long way to go. So, so yeah, I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.